guys and welcome back to this channel the best place to be for all things agile my name is Yinka and I am your online agile coach in today's episode I have a very interesting perspective to the concept of agile and so I'd like you to get in here sit tight because we've got awesome things to discuss but before we get started if you're new to this channel welcome and awesome and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and turn on your notification so that you don't get to miss out on any of the awesome topics we get to discuss now let's get into today's discussion <music> that I see going on over and over again is the concept of Scrum Masters focusing on Agile as the primary goal of every team and every organization. I am here to tell you that Agile is not the goal. Stop focusing on Agile. Stop focusing on Scrum. Stop focusing on Safe. Stop focusing on any of those frameworks. This is one of the reasons why many Agile transformation fail because we focus on agile we focus on those teams becoming agile we focus on those teams just getting really good at being agile and that's not the reason why the team you're supporting was created in the first place and honestly i have fell victim to the same concept when i started my scrum master career early on i used to focus on making sure my teams become more agile on a day-to-day -day basis but as i grew and advanced in this industry i realized that i've been doing the wrong thing for so long the goal is not to be agile agile is only a means to an end agile is not the goal and even after i started my own organization i realized it even more that as a scrum master i have been focusing on the wrong thing trying to make my teams agile trying to make the organization agile it doesn't do the teams or the organizations any good the goal is not for them to be agile the goal is for us to use agile to achieve our goal so if you're a scrum master and you've been working so hard trying to make your team agile no one that you're failing because you're focusing on the wrong thing those teams are not created to become agile they are created to solve a problem that would increase the ROI of the organization. And that's why it seems like organizations are always breathing down on our necks, you know, wondering when we're ever going to get things done. And it's because we are not focused on the same thing that the organization is focused on. We, as Scrum Masters, were focused on making our teams agile. We're focused on making the entire organization agile. Meanwhile, the organization wants to achieve certain objectives, you know, year after year, quarter after quarter. So as a Scrum Master, you've got to realize what agile truly means. Now, I'd like us to actually take a step back and take a look at the Scrum definition, because now I'm talking to Scrum Masters, so I believe that you're probably using the Scrum framework. So let's actually take a look at the Scrum definition. So now, let me get the Scrum guide so that I can recite that word for word. So Scrum, according to the Scrum guide, defines Scrum as a light framework that helps people, teams, and organizations generate value through adaptive solutions for complex problems. So when we actually even look at the definition of Scrum, Scrum is meant to help us achieve our objective. It's supposed to help us achieve our value. Our goal is not to do Scrum. Our goal is not to do Agile or become Agile. We're supposed to use these frameworks, these practices to achieve our objectives. But a lot of Scrum Masters are focused on being Agile. And I'll give you an example of what that means. You're focused on being agile if all that you're concerned about is your team attending those scrum events. Are they attending sprint planning? Are they attending sprint review? You know, what is your velocity this sprint? Okay, you guys committed to 30 story points. How come you guys were able to only do 25? When you're focused on those things, you're focused on the wrong thing. You're focused on the team doing agile. You've got to focus on the goal. What is the sprint goal? What is the product goal? What is the objective? Now, how can we use agile to achieve that objective? Is Scrum actually the perfect framework to use to achieve this objective that we have? Or are there other frameworks or practices out there that we can use to achieve our objective? 
But many scrum masters focus on agile. Many scrum masters focus on scrum. And they think that once they do scrum or once they practice scrum, they are going to automatically achieve the company objective or the objective of the team. And that is not the case. Using me as an example, as an entrepreneur, when I have a project or I have something to develop, I really do not care how the vendor does the work, whether they go agile, whether they use the traditional framework. As an entrepreneur, what I care about is the end results. Did you deliver exactly what I asked for? And I want you as a scrum master to start thinking from that perspective, because when you begin thinking from that perspective, you're able to focus on the right thing. What does the organization care about? Why is this team even created? What are we trying to achieve? And at the end of the day, you will find out that you've been focusing on the wrong thing because doing scrum does not necessarily help us to achieve our objectives. I've worked to a lot of vendors that I don't know what they did behind the scene. By the end of the day, what I cared about was the end result. Did they deliver the end result? Is it working? Is it functional? Is it valuable? And that's what you need to really care about. Now, Agile has been proven as a tested way to help us achieve some of our objectives. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of organizations are trying to be Agile. However, you don't want to make Agile the goal because Agile is not the goal. And that's why a lot of Scrum Masters are always under fire in the organizations because the teams are not delivering. They're not meeting the timelines. They're not delivering any value whatsoever. And now they're looking at you, the Scrum Master. What are you going to do about it? And you're like, oh, this organization is so problematic. They're not even trying to do Agile. You've been focusing on the wrong thing. Don't focus on them doing Agile. Focus on the goal. And anything that's going to help us achieve our goal is what you should focus on. So if doing Agile helps us achieve our objectives, then by all means, go Agile. If doing something else, following another type of practice, helps us to achieve our objectives, then you really want to consider it. Because as a Scrum Master, you're meant to also be the master of Scrum. You're meant to understand this framework and know really well if it fits within the context of that organization that you're working for. Sometimes the organization might want to do Scrum and that's not the best use of their time. So do you just allow them to do Scrum just because you're a Scrum Master and you think that's what they're supposed to do? Or do you look at their goal and the objectives and figure out if Scrum is the best use of it. Going back to the Scrum definition, Scrum works best in solving complex problems. So for example, if your team is not even working on a complex problem, should they even really be doing Scrum? Are there other things they could do to achieve that objective? And that's what I want you to really sit down and think about today as a Scrum Master. Just don't act like a robot in any organization that you work for. And even after the organization says we're trying to be agile, you've got to find out what they really want. Because there's a probability that somebody sold it to them that being agile will help us achieve our goals. But you as a scrum master, when you get assigned to that organization and that team, you've got to figure out what they're trying to accomplish. Why do we even want to go agile? What makes us think that being agile will help us solve this problem? You've got to ask the right questions so that you can understand truly what this team wants, what this organization wants, and then help them get it. Today's episode is really a mindset shift for many Scrum Masters because I know that many of you are like wondering, like, why is Agile not the goal? Agile is a means to an end. Whether you're Agile or not, are you still going to be able to achieve your objective? Every organization, every team has a goal. They have an objective. And the way we achieve it would differ. Now, is Agile a great way to solve complex problems? Yes, it is. But you've got to understand exactly what the goal is. So just don't join any organization and just act like a robot and just walk towards making them Agile because that is not the goal. Every team, every organization has unique goals that they're trying to achieve. And it's your responsibility to understand what that is and then help your team become super effective so that they can achieve that goal sprint by sprint until they achieve the overall product goal. That should be your focus. So I'm sure at this point, you're probably wondering, if Agile is not the goal, what then is the goal? Success is your goal. How is the organization able to achieve your objective? The success rate is your goal. 
whatever objective that team has, whatever product goal has been assigned to that team, the success of that product goal is your goal. That is what you need to work towards with your team because at the end of the day, it's all about value. That is what the organization cares about. I want you to remember that a lot of money is being spent on a daily basis to make sure that that team is running effectively. And it's your own job to make sure that the organization is able to get ROI on that team. So you've got to work and see how you can enable that team to become highly performing so that they're able to achieve their business objective. That is your goal. That is what you've got to focus on, not focusing on agile. Agile is not your goal. Making sure the team achieves success in whatever objective or whatever goal has been set for them is your goal. So I hope that today's video has been able to really motivate you and inspire something in you and really create a mindset shift where you're able to start focusing on what truly matters. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. It's always a pleasure. I look forward to catching you in my next video. Bye.